Bald eagles are considered to be sea eagles, and their scientific name is Heliaetus leucocephalus. Oof, try saying that five times fast. Broken down, their name means sea eagle white head, and I'm sure you can probably guess why. The bald in a bald eagle's common name is derived from the word piebald, which is really just an indicator of two different colors, usually black and white. So when someone says bald eagle, she doesn't literally mean an eagle that is without head feathers, but rather an eagle that has some contrasting colors. This is because adult bald eagles have stark white heads and tails against dark brown body feathers. Their eyes, beaks, and legs are yellow in color. Juvenile bald eagles do not have these distinct markings though, and can easily be confused with similar looking golden eagles. Juveniles will retain mottled brown and white markings until they're fully matured at about five years of age. When they've reached this point, they're ready to mate. Bald eagles will remain with the same mate until one of the couple dies, at which point the survivor will find a new mate. The female, who is often larger than her bird brain mate, lays between one to three eggs in a nest, constructed by both parents, that will be reused for the next breeding season. Both parents also incubate the eggs during the 35 or so days that they need to develop. Once they hatch, the babies remain in the nest for about two and a half months, depending on their geographical location. They'll fledge after that and stay under the guidance of their parents for a few more weeks, before setting off on their own. Bald eagles will reuse nests each breeding season and they can live to be nearly 50 years of age, though in the wild the average is closer to 20. Over the past century, bald eagles have faced the brink of extinction. In the 1960s, there were noted to be less than 500 mating pairs in the wild. Shortly after, bald eagles were put on the endangered species list. Their numbers have grown over time, and in 2007 they were removed from the endangered species list, one of only 56 species to be removed from a list of over 2,000. So they have quite the survival story. Today, they're still covered by the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act and the Migratory Bird Treaty Act since their numbers are still not what they once were. Bald eagles are the only eagles native solely to North America. Maybe this is part of why they were chosen as the national bird for the United States of America. Some people actually take offense at using bald eagles as the national bird of the United States because they're kind of bullies. See, bald eagles are opportunistic eaters. They'll just as soon catch their own fish as they will steal the fish of someone else. They'll also happily dine on dead fish. Fish are their favorite food, which is good because they are almost exclusively found near bodies of water, but they'll also eat other birds and mammals if it comes to it. They're found throughout the continent of North America, with larger individuals living further north. Some have suggested that there are two subspecies of bald eagles, northern bald eagles and southern bald eagles, but this isn't necessarily verified, and frankly, bald eagles migrate, so that just makes everything all the more muddled. And no, they don't migrate to escape cold weather. Their feathers are well equipped to keep them cozy no matter where they are in their home range, but they do migrate for food. In colder climates, food can be scarce, so to ensure there's enough to go around, they'll pack up and leave until the weather warms up. In size, bald eagles are the second largest bird of prey in North America, falling behind the California condor. Their wingspan is 6.5 feet on average, which surpasses the wingspan of the great blue herons we discussed on a previous episode. Typically, they weigh about 10 pounds. Also, if you think that bald eagles sound like this, then you probably haven't watched our red-tailed hawk episode, which I'd recommend. In reality, bald eagles sound a little something like this. For more facts on bald eagles, take a look at the links in the description. How do you feel about bald eagles? Let us know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Animal Fact Files.